So we're going to learn the basket weave. Um, it is a multiple of 8 plus 4, so I'm going to do a chain of 32 plus 4, which would be a total of 36 chains. I'm using Peyton's Classic Wool Worsted Yarn. The color I'm not sure of. Um, I know that it is a medium weight 4-ply yarn and the instructions say to hand wash and lay it flat to dry. So we're going to start with a slip knot. And I want a fairly big cloth so I'm going to chain 36 which is our multiple of 8 plus 4. So our multiple is 32 and then we're going to add forces. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whoops, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. This is where the fun begins. The first thing that we're going to do is make a complete row working into the fourth chain from the hook and every stitch to the end we're going to work double crochet. Okay, so I'm going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook. So this is one, two, three, four. So we're going to go in there and pick up that top loop just like that. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two of those loops and yarn over and pull through the next two. I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch and every stitch till the end of the row. Okay, I'll work two more and then I'll meet you at the end. I'm to the end of my row of double crochet and you should be two at this point. The next thing we're going to do is chain two and now we're going to skip the first double crochet. Okay, so that is this one right here and we're going to work the front post around each of the next four. So what that means is I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook behind that whole post. Okay, so that stitch is the whole post. And I'm going to just go behind there and work a double crochet from behind that stitch. So that's one. I'm going to do it again. Okay, this is two. Whoops. three, and four. The next thing we're going to do is work the back post in the next four. So it works the same, only this time we're going to work from behind. So we're going to insert our hook like that and then grab that post this way. So we're grabbing it out the back. Okay, we'll do that again. I'm gonna insert the hook from the back, wrap it around that post and come out, and then work your double crochet. Okay, this is three. So 
This stitch has worked a lot differently than a normal stitch in crochet. Okay, then we're going to go back to the front post. And remember, we're going to come in from the front now. Go behind that. One. Two. Three. And four. And now the back post. One. Two. Three. Whoops. And four. Okay. And we're going to continue on alternating front post, back post till we get to the end, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I'm at the end, and you should be too. We'll have one left that didn't get crochet into yet. So now we're just going to put a double crochet into the top of that right here. And that ends our row. Okay? So now we're going to chain two and we're going to turn it. And we're going to work this row just like we did the last one. Okay? So we're going to skip this first double crochet and then work the front post four times, work the back post four times, front post, back post, front post, back post, and so on until we get to the end. So rows two through four pretty much are exactly the same. Okay? So I'll do the first two. I'll work the front post. for four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now we'll work the back post for four. One, two, three, and four. Okay? Now just continue on alternating front post, back post, front post, back post till you get to the end. And then you're going to work a double crochet into, if I can get my camera to focus, into the top of here into the top right here of this very last stitch you work your double crochet here and then you'll turn and do two more rows just like it and then I'll meet you back here this project is going to be 16 rows so here are the four rows and you should be at the end so you can really count them as one two three four or one, two, three, four. See, this has a nice look already, but now we're going to do four rows the opposite way. So we're going to chain two, turn our work, and now instead of working the front post, we're going to actually work the back for four. So this will be one. Whoops. This is two, three, whoops, I lost my stitch, three, and of course this will be four. So we're just really doing the opposite of what we just did. So everywhere we see a front post, we're going to work a back post, and everywhere we have a back post, we're going to work a front so it just takes a little bit to get used to it 
and so we're going to do four rows this way. Okay, I'll work two more. Okay, we're going to work the front post. One more here. And then we're going to switch to the back post. One. Two. Ah, I lost my stitch again. <laughs> this is two. Okay, and then three. And, oh, I lost my stitch again. This is terrible. My yarn keeps coming unwound. Okay, this is three. And then, of course, four. Okay, I'll work one more of the front post, and then I'll let you do it on your own for the next three rows after this. So you should have a total of four rows. Okay. I'll meet you back okay, here. I'm in the end of my second row and I've already worked my double crochet into the top of here. Now we're going to alternate two more rows just like we did. So we're going to work um, chain two and work the back post, front post. So we're, we're doing the opposite of what we just did. Okay, so here uh, we work the back post and so now we're going to work the front post, back post, front post, back post. Okay. So I'll do the first two, and then I'll meet you at the end. So front post for four. One. Two. Three. Four. And then back post for four. So just the opposite of what we have done. This is two. Oops. Three. And um, basket weave is always a yarn eater, so make sure that you have probably at least double of the amount of yarn you think you're going to use. Seriously, it is very much a yarn eater. Okay, so continue on alternating front post, back post, front post, back post for the next four rows, and I'll meet you at the end. Um, of course, we're going to chain two and turn our work. And we're going to start off, of course, by working the back post. There it is. Okay, this one. I'm kind of fumbling around, I guess, because I'm trying to beat the camera battery. It's dying on me. So this is two. Whoops. Two. Three. And. Whoops. Four. And now four of the front post. Okay. And simply alternate, of course, back, front, back, front for four rows until you get to the end and I'll meet you there. Okay, you should have made it to the end of your grouping of four. So now we have one, two, three, four sections of four rows and we're just going to chain one and clip a tail. Just enough to weave in. It doesn't have to be very long. We're going to take a yarn needle 
oops, pull that through, forgot to say, and tug that just a little bit. And we're going to weave this in. So I'm just going to turn it. It really doesn't matter um, because both sides are the same. It really doesn't matter which side you weave it into, but I just like to turn it over and do it. So I'm just going to start weaving in. And I like to go, you can go straight across until your tail is gone, but I kind of like to go back and forth in the rows until I don't have much tail left at all. And when I get down to just a little string, I'll clip it off. Okay. Now the other. My camera battery is dying, so I apologize if I have to change cameras, but I'll try to get this done before it dies completely. It's been flashing at me for a while. But I did want to finish this up. So I hope that you enjoyed the pattern. I hope you enjoyed learning the basket weave. And I just hope that you'll join me next time for Make It Monday.